say a couple more things. One is, um, uh, me and Grant worked all night, the night before last, and then flew in really late, and then we've had like three hours sleep, so we've had to, you're gonna, some of you are gonna be interviewing me later, I apologize in advance, I've had like three hours sleep in three days. Uh, but the reason for that was we were finishing off uh, an update for the game, and that should hopefully be going live <coughs> Monday or basically before the game comes out. Um, and it's very important to us that people, you know, that you guys play it with, with that update. Um, and, like, we've actually been working on it for four weeks, maybe just over that. The day the game went gold, we basically went out and celebrated and then came straight back in the next day and began work on it. Um, and there's a reason for that, and that's because we want No Man's Sky to be that type of game. So we want it to be one that is continually updated. Um, it's this whole universe that we're created and it's not a static thing. We want to add new features, new content, balancing. We want to listen to what people have done in the community and what stuff they really enjoy doing and we want to nurture that or different ways to play the game. Um, there's so many things all throughout this game. People will constantly ask me things like, oh, can I have a, one person will want a dune buggy, another person will want a boat, another person will want, you know, deep sea diving equipment, another person will want a like base building meta game or whatever. Uh, the other person will want to own freighters. Uh, and there's all these things that everyone like asks me as if it is the only thing that the game needs. And of course, you should have this kind of thing. I mean, this is faulty, but we're hopefully going to like be allowed to work on it for a while to come. Like, hopefully, if people are enjoying the game. Obviously, if everyone hates it and it's terrible, and we will stop updating it. <laughs> We won't do it just for our own reasons, but, but if people are playing it, and I hope they do, and I hope it's the kind of game that we have that, and it is in that kind of sandboxy genre, then we would want to keep updating it. We would do that not through DLC, but just through updates like Minecraft and stuff like that does. Like a lot of those games do, mainly on Steam and stuff like that. But um, it's perfectly applicable to console as well. Um, so we've just finished off. Really big update that adds quite a lot that no one will ever know didn't exist, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and so people will play with that day one. And uh, and then we just go straight on to working on the next update. Um, there's stuff that we haven't announced yet, but that me and Grant know we are working on. Things, some of our most requested features, like being able to own freighters um, and being able to start building little things on the planets and stuff, um, which is kind of a hugely requested feature. Um, we wanted to get out day one what we see as almost like the, the explorer's route, right? Something that will keep you going from planet to planet to planet and focus our game around that. But once the game is out and people are enjoying that, there are other ways you could play. You could stay on a planet for days and days and weeks and weeks and, and build a little base and stuff like that. So we want to encourage people to do that. You could decide to become a trader um, and we want to flesh that out, allow people to have freighters and things like that and allow people to do trading on a much bigger scale. Um, and so hopefully this is a starting point and a solid kind of canvas that we can put more ideas on. Um, the thing I'll finish by saying is I guess it's funny if you if, if when people are playing, I wish I wish I could control how everyone plays. Right? <laughs> I wish I could just make them play the game the way I want them to play it. Uh, sometimes when we're watching playtesters, so frustrating. But like people just do the most bizarre things and get obsessed with the most bizarre things. You're like, oh, there's all this over here that we've made for you. Why are you doing that? To see people stay fighting sentinels for hours, for hours and hours and hours, anyway. Um, <laughs> or being traders, and they will just trade one good, like, you know, stay in the first solar system, and so we've made this whole universe, and you're just going back and forth. Anyway. And like, it must be having a boring time, but, but they're fine, and they're enjoying it, so whatever. 
but I won't be able to control the way you guys play it, unfortunately. But there are things, there are things that were very key to us. Like I said right at the start, when I sat down and started writing, we wanted the game to be different. And what that actually means is, like, something really important. I don't think everyone's going to like the game. I don't want that, actually. Right? I, I want it to be a little bit polarizing and stuff. Um, I think this that actually we are too small a team to sit down and make the perfect game. That's not what we're trying to do, right? Over, over time, if we continually update it, we can remove all the rough edges and we can, you know, fix every problem and balance issue, whatever. But actually, day one, we didn't want to make the perfect game. We didn't actually even want to make a game that you could play forever, you know? Like, maybe, again, through updates and things like that, maybe we can nurture that, right? Um, but it's never what we set out to do because we're tiny. All we wanted to do, and this sounds so small, is just make you feel like two emotions, uh, which are kind of really appropriate for <laughs> for where we are today, right? And one of those emotions is the feeling of just landing on a planet and just once that feeling a little bit real and like, wow, I found this new place, you know? We, we can't possibly, you know, create something that will provide endless hours of wonder. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, we can't be, you can't sit and experience wonder for 24 hours straight. You know, you sit in front of the Niagara Falls or whatever, it will actually become boring after a while. Uh, but we want just once for you to get out of your ship and think, wow, and for this to feel a little bit real and feel like a place that you visited, and that it's maybe a little bit like you'd stepped through a sci-fi book cover. If, you'd feel, if we've done that, if you feel in any way like that, then like I'm happy, right? And if you go into like our galactic map, or you're flying through the map at the start, and you start to get a sense of how big the world is, of what well, world, how big the universe is, like that we've made, and then you realize that that's actually you know, much smaller, even though it's near infinite, it's much smaller than the universe that we are in, you know? Um, and if people get that, if they have that emotion just for a minute and think how amazing that is, um, then I'm really happy. Like, games don't generally do that. And if we can get those two things across, then if you can feel that in any way in your, like, you know, in your cold journalist hearts. <laughs> we, can break, we can break through. Uh, then I'm happy, you know, uh, because we're all, we all play lots of games, I'm sure we're all jaded of all of these things. Uh, but yeah, that, that's all we set out to do. And hopefully, you know, if people enjoy it, then we can expand on that, you know, and kind of make the, the best game that we possibly can over the time. Um, but it's been like five years, so it's definitely time to release it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave you with that. It's really appreciating. <laughs> oh,